Hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode 25. Last time we achieved this. We, I don't even know what to say still about what happened last episode. Uh, let's try and piece it together. We like it. <laughs> we finished the, the White Palace. We obtained the other half of the King's Soul. We then traversed into the Abyss to uh, convert that into the Void Heart, learning uh, more truths about the tragic existence of the Hollow Knight. And after that, after obtaining the Void Heart, then going to say hello to dear Hollow Knight and go, hey, let's see what we can do here. Opening up a additional battle after the Hollow Knight against the Radiance, which is the Light Forgotten. The plague, the infection, the madness that haunts the corpses of Hallownest, the light that screams out from the eyes of this dead kingdom. What is the source? I suppose mere mortals like myself will never understand. It's like referring when, like saying mere mortals like myself, referring to Radiance as like a godlike figure and look at it. We became the Lord of Shades and being darkness and void incarnate fought and defeated the light. And I just think that is an amazing way to turn the tables of the cliche light versus dark tropes and us to be destroying the light, which is actually a negative thing for this kingdom, you know? And it's the journal is cheeky that it used to be 150 out of 150, and we've added the radiance in here, and it just bumps up to 151. I feel like we've just had a goddamn Pokemon moment. No, guys, Mewtwo. And uh, there's also another one, Mew, as the 151st Pokemon. <laughs> so Radiance got added to the journal. Uh, I've done this two episodes uh, in a row now. Uh, not in a row, but two endings in a row, where I got so hyped up and just overwhelmed that I forgot to read the journal entry for the Hollow Knight in the episode that I defeated him. And we've done the same thing for Radiance. Uh, today, we are going to be chasing uh, DLC. We're going to be chasing stuff that I haven't done yet. Uh, we're going to be looking around for things. I'm missing some charms. I am missing some charms. I am missing a simple key. Uh, I am missing things. So uh, perhaps another journey through these locations is in order. Uh, we'll also go to the Ancestral Mound. Well, not the Ancestral Mound, but the area next to it in the Forgotten Crossroads to take on another one of our dream fights against our very first... Um, boss fight, the false knight. Let's bring it full circle and have the last boss that we take on yeah, out of all the dream fights be this guy. Uh, I'm not sure what else there is, but again, there is a lot in that I haven't discovered yet, I guess, in terms of items and I'm missing a couple of charms and such. And I need to collect all the charms to get something from Salubra. And admittedly, if I cannot discover it, uh, on my own in this map of looking in specific tiny locations for some things. I will get some assistance uh, from my from my beloved and trusted mods to be like, hey, can I get a clue? And I'm going to chase a clue because I think that is fair enough, especially with the amount of work and effort that I've put into navigating this map myself, that getting a little bit of a trusted nudge in a direction instead of being blatantly told still makes the chase more exciting uh so i will probably have to end up doing that uh for charms and wherever this goddamn key is i wish i could just buy it um alas you know the key is blocking my access to the junk pit right now um but and, and one of the i mentioned this a few episodes ago in that in, ref in reference to the dlc uh i did receive um, some nudges, like I said. Uh, admittedly, I already knew that the junk pit looked to be one of those based on that nudge that I got because I'd already put like a marker on it and I was like, cool. Down in the pit of, uh, of junk is uh, very much a, a DLC thing. Uh, Zote's little dream thing that we drop down into and fight him uh, also apparently that is that is DLC and then there is something that the other clue that I've been given is uh, 
at the at the edge of the world is what it was. So that's either got to be, well, I would say Kingdom's Edge makes the most sense for that because it's at the edge and it has edge in the title. But there's also the Howling Cliffs and Crystal Peak that we could potentially, that these are also edges of the world and there could be some DLC stuff um, out there as well. So that's what I wanted to address just at the beginning of the episode. Uh, we will see how we go in terms of our progress, but we are pushing into, you know, f the, the era of Hollow Knight where we are ticking off DLC and uh, incomplete, unfinished business. Um, I'm, ch I'm running these charms at the moment. We're going to we're going to try and do some more Grubberfly's Elegy because I want to get used to being able to do this because we haven't even properly tested it out before. And I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be fun. Let's leave the temple because obviously we've uh, we've done a pretty decent job in here and we've got Hornet chilling. Which is so cool because I, I love I love how Hornet enters that fight against Radiance. And I'm so I'm so happy that we, we took it out. I'm still like, even though that was like a while ago now. Um <laughs> that was a while ago now. I've had some time to come down from that emotional high of uh, the radiance. I'm still feeling that uh still feeling that overwhelming sense of, of victory and achievement uh, and it feels so good uh, we're gonna go to uh, I guess I'm gonna focus on doing maybe the the edge of the world stuff well actually while we're here we may as well do we may as well try the howling cliffs first because it's closer than kingdom's edge um, and at the very least, if there's anything that I've missed in this place in general, then we can get that sorted. Because it does look like there could be some things that we haven't yet discovered. Um, there's another situation that I don't know what to do about, which is the... the you can get another delicate flower. We've planted them uh, at the grave of the um, traitor's child. So... I'm not sure what to do about them and if we can give it to a character because we the Grey Mourner is gone. So I'm not sure. Beyond this point, you enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom. Don't you love it where there's some situations where you haven't got Geo yet and you're like, hell yeah, give me that 15 Geo. Um, this way to go? Yep. I'm going to be trying to keep my eyes on walls as much as possible as well. <laughs> he, he says, I'll try. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce ones such as you. I really like this as well. I really like this as well in terms of like um, rereading earlier lore things that we've read and being like, what is this about? What is this behind the uh, behind the chest? Look at that! It looks fucking creepy. Nice. So as long as we stay at full health, we can do this thing. Where does this go again? I don't even remember. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. This is not marked on the map. Oh, it's not. That is not a hole in the floor, that's why. Silly boy. I've gone... Wait. Yeah. How do I... I've forgotten how to navigate this place. Oh, right. <laughs> yep. Uh, I was just testing you guys to see if you guys remembered. It was just a test. Of course, I knew where to go. I didn't forget.
never, I would never forget. This thing's satisfying. Feels cool. All right, Howling Cliffs. Let's try this because it's, this is technically an edge of the world. We can't get back to the stag station from here. I like how it works sideways. Sideways and downward ways. There's our nail master. It's our nail master. May as well rest. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna die. I don't need to rest. I don't rest out of stubbornness. I'm like, I don't need to. See that bonfire there? I don't need it. I was just testing you guys to see if you guys knew that there were spikes there. I knew there were spikes there. Alright. Now, last time we were here, we tried... to... like, super dash all the way over here just to see what would happen but we got like pushed yeah you get pushed away and this is the beginning and you've got all your little bug boys uh, we've done the dream route thing that was here. This takes us to green path, so I won't go that way. Just trying to look at walls and stuff. Just to see. Is that noise this soul thing? I thought it was empty. Okay. Sounds like it's making like, not the item noise, but like a different noise. Oh, there you go, nice. Mark. Oh, there's lore hidden in here. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch, never ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Okay. The sound effect cuts off like um, when when you hit a wall, which is kind of which is kind of weird. You can hear the audio just cut off. Aha! I was not crazy. I was like, I can hear the I and it was the item noise. I misremembered what the item noise even sounded like. I was like, it sounds kind of like it, but not really. And that wall did look weird. Now I know why. A wanderer's journal and another broken wall. Nice. Oh, this goes to a new area. Cool. New part of the map. This is, the, this is the good part, at the very least, if you're like, we're, we're going like, I'm going to just check out these places and we see if we can find anything. And then we're looking for, we're looking for the DLC and we're looking we're based on some, some nudges. And then the positive to that is while we're exploring, instead of just going straight there, I'm like, we can find other things that we've missed. I don't know if Wanderer's Journal <laughs> like comes into the, oh God, I don't know if Wanderer's Journal comes into the, um, Completion percentage though, I would say probably not. Inspect. Can I dream now? Whoa, okay, that's a different color. A corpse of a large bug. The hell? Oh, what the fuck? Did 
there was no dream now dialogue, but we've now got the dream effects. Fuck. All right. Okay. What? Oh. Stoke the embers. Stoke the flame. What? Okay, I'm going to assume that this is the DLC and we actually did successfully find it because at the end of last episode, we did take a look at the, in the options screen, we looked at the, we could change the menu stuff and then we saw the DLC details and I went, ah, look, we've made it so far into the playthrough and we need to find the DLC. So let's like have a look. And it's the same like red color scheme as I, um, the Grim, the Grim Troop, I think it's called. There's no way that this would just be chucked away here this whole time if it wasn't DLC, I don't think. All right, Edge of the World, not Kingdom's Edge. This place instead, that's cool. So have we entered a, have we entered a dream of like this, this corpse, the large corpse of a bug because we've got all the dream stuff going on? Um, it's not there anymore. Okay, I think what I have to do is here. Oh, hang on, do I dream now something? Uh, okay. Wait. The beacon of Gondor is lit. I don't know what to do about it though. Do I dream now you again? Okay. What have I done? What do we do? of a large bug. Hello! Should I, uh... Oh. I've stoked some flames. And that's it. And now we've got a bunch of flames and I can't... Alright. I guess we leave? Uh, I don't know what to do. Do we just leave? That, fe this, that feels wrong? It feels like I should be doing something? Do I have a charm that would react to... Would that work? Is the closest charm that we have that's like a flame looking one? I don't know. Uh, I'm confused. Maybe we've just. Maybe all that's done. Oh god. Maybe all that's done is just activate something and it hasn't actually, like. I don't know. Well, let's go to the bench because the bench might reveal, it'll update the map. Yep. That was the plan. Let's go back to the bench. It should update the map. Maybe it might point out like a missing pathway or something. confused but I guess this is the nature of it it's a little bit incon inconspicuous All right, let's update the map yep okay it's just a it's just a pathway doesn't look like there's anything else there 
You got anything to say about it, my friend? Bomb. Okay. I don't know what to do, so we're just gonna leave. I don't know what to do. But I forgot to press the jump button. We just, um, alright. Uh, just another thing to put a pin in, I suppose. Um, put a put a pin in it. The Hollow Knight experience. I uh, okay. Um, what else have I, What else have we got? I need to go simple charm farming. Oh. 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 Where are we? The hell? Oh, you've moved in. Okay. Hang on. Elderbug, what happened? Oh. Ah, look. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ah, fills me with dread. I think it best to I try to ignore it. Oh, okay. This is my fault. I've done this. Sorry, Elderbug. I uh, accidentally stoked a flame in the Howling Cliffs. Thought I was in a dream. Turns out I'm not in a dream at all. And they've moved into Dirtmouth. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Something strange and sinister has appeared. Why must these grotesque strangers intrude on our peaceful little home? Sometimes it feels like the whole world is conspiring to make me uncomfortable. And now a new sign has been added. All right, let's rest at this bench. Oh, and then a, another sign has definitely, definitively been added there. And, um... All right, well, hold on. Let me take the... Let me take that off because I don't need to find my way currently. So I believe that we have found our way into what is referred to as the uh, Grim Troop DLC. A new land different from the last. How many more will we see? Look at these. New bugs. New creatures. The roads between are dark and long, but the master's light, the master's light will always guide us. So this is, a, yeah, this is like, a, instead of like the light that we've been dealing with before, this is like a, a flame type of light. This is the light given off by a, f a red crimson flame. All right, let's go into the small tent. <laughs> Creepy. Dream now. Bop. Shadow and fire will dance together so prettily, I think. <sighs> Divine. Did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. The smell. Oh, you're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? You shouldn't hide something so nice. Show me. Show me. Put it on quickly. Oh, is it? Is it poopy charm? Does Divine like the poopy charm? Divine likes poopy charm. Why? What is it with all the bugs in this game that love the divine smell of the poopy charm? What is it with these with these people? The white lady is like, mmm, 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 delicious poopy charm. Oh, wrong one. Shit. Hang on. Is it this? Is it this smell you desire? Yum, yum, yum. Poop. I've already crossed. That's that smell. So strong, so virile, but not the odor that calls to me. I crave a different smell. Precious, sensitive, fragile. Ah, bring it, wear it. Oh, fragile. One of the fragile charms. But which one? Should we just put them all on? How much do they cost? Heart, greed, and strength. None of these seem to have a smell about them, so I'm gonna just bring them all. There you go. Not the stinky poopy charm. Gotcha. Any of these work for you, ma'am? Ah! That charm! Beautiful! 
Most precious thing, little lovely, will you let me see it? Have to show it to me. Oh, the fragile heart charm. Okay, there you go. I'm like, just take all three, see what happens. Give fragile heart charm. Okay. <sighs> charm lost. I'm not like I was using it anyway. Ah, ah, such a little beauty, such a smell, such a smell. Ah, <laughs> you ate it. <gasps> oh, okay. Ah, so good, so tasty, a perfect, perfect thing just for me. Ah, okay. Um, beautiful, delicious. Ah, you're good, little lovely. You're very sweet to bring me such a gift. Can I have it back? Do I come back in uh, a few hours after you've digested it and it comes out this little poop tube of yours? Is it gone from my... Oh my god, it's gone from my inventory. Can you give it back? Can I do an emergency uh, charm section? Do a C-section. Let me get it out of there. The one who made my gift. Oh, oh, the one who made my gift. That's why he likes the smell, because Leg Eater made it? Somewhere below, yes, very good gift, very tasty, delicious. I'm already cross. Do you want something, little lovely? You don't want to take my gift back, do you? Ah, so nasty, so cruel if that's true. Once you give something as a gift, it's lost to you forever. Our... A gift? Yeah. For you? So greedy. But I can show you something if you're nice to me, little lovely. Will you do a nice thing, lovely? Give them to me, your Geo. Give me your Geo and I'll give you a gift. Pay to get a gift. This is great because I am just sitting on Geo with nothing to do with it. So absolutely. Oh, 12,000, the most expensive thing I've ever seen. And we have enough Geo. Take my Geo. Don't steal it from me. Oh, the sound effects of that with the mixed with the voice. That was definitely pooping out a charm. Thank you. Unbreakable heart. Wow. Increases the health of the bear, allowing them to take more damage. This charm is unbreakable. It got replaced. It's no longer fragile. Okay, that is an expensive upgrade. Can we do that to the other ones as well? And does that mean I need a lot of Geo? Which is good because I have a lot of relics to turn in to Lem. Another gift. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I guess this means I can actually choose. Don't do nasty things. Don't be cruel. Show it to me. That beautiful was made for me. I can smell it. Okay, cool. I think we can choose. And I don't really need to make my fragile greed unbreakable right now because I'm not in the... I don't need... a crap load of Geo. But if we do fragile strength... Unbreakable strength? Now we're talking. Um, I need Geo though, so let's go on a little adventure. This is really interesting. Not at all what I've expected, but that is basically the Hollow Knight experience. So let's head over to uh, Lem. I'm going to sell my relics. Actually, I should. I, actually, I should. You know what? I should test first before I embark on a goddamn massive adventure. Is I should actually check how much it costs and if it costs the same amount or if it even costs anything was it just the first one that's going to cost geo let's find out fragile strength eat it the seeing the animation of it coming out of her poop tube was just something else yep mm, can i have now what? you're so greedy for gifts poor little lovely give me a geo and i'll give you a gift Fuck. All right, 15,000. Okay. No Geo, why? Why don't you have enough Geo? I just gave it to you. Wow, that is an expensive purchase. Okay. Let's go to Lem, the Relic Seeker. Because we're sitting on... We're sitting on money. I can't remember how much we get for each, but we've got uh, enough that it should be should be good. Pretty sure King Station should be the closest one. I'm really interested to see what else is waiting for us in that big tent. Velmi Artred. Velmi Artred. Oh no, this is not going to get me enough Geo at all. 
<laughs> this is not going to get me that? enough. Yeah. Another arcane egg. It's a rare chance to own two of these. I'll be the envy of all my colleagues, though my purse is feeling much lighter for it. These eggs are the most desired find from time before Hallow Nest, but they're not the only remnant of that age. You may have come upon them, those old statues that seem a store for soul. They too prove its existence, though in a larger, cruder form. Oh, those are also uh, from time before Hallow Nest. Cool. All right. I'm appreciating the lore we're getting out of this by selling these. I was holding on to them. A third arcane egg. You're an exceptional explorer to have found so many. An egg is a perfect protective form. In Hallow Nest, we use stone journals or tablets, our text engraved atop. These eggs are far more secure. Their records are stored within. In fear of damaging the eggs, I'm only able to access the outer layer, but it's clear those in the distant past could somehow access information stored even deeper within. Look at this lore of before Hallow Nest. That's crazy. If only I could find a way to do so, just think of the discoveries to be made. Velmi Artred. Cool. Kachail. King's, King's Idol. Up. If you look closely, each of these idols is subtly different. There are fine engravings about them that take some time to decipher. I suspect each was tailored to the owner, a personalized symbol of the King's omnipotence. Velmi Artred. It makes sense why these are sold one by one now. Kachail. Another King's Idol. Have you visited the remnants of his palace? It's down below this city, in the bedrock of the kingdom. Must have been an impressive sight in its time. Now there's nothing left. It must have been really impressive. Very painful to put together. It's a strange thing, though. There are no signs of conflict around the area. It's as though the whole place just vanished. Velmi Arch. Mm. Velmi Arch. A King's Idol. I've often wondered the true visage of the king. Depictions are of an imposing, gleaming figure and a fiercely horned crown. I suspect there's much embellishment in the imagery, though. A ruler seeking worship tends to hide their blemishes. It'll do no good to appear a common bug. Velmi Artred. I mean, it does look like the king's idol. Gotta, gotta hand it to him. Morrison. Another ally in a seal. Pass it over then. Velmi Artred. Okay, these are one by one. Oh, Paul. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I worry I'll run out of space Velmi in the shop. Artred. I reckon I might just get enough for this one Velmi charm of fragile Artred. strength for 15k, and then we'll have to save up the rest for, um... Uh, what's the other one? Fragile Greed. Hello, Nassil. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I run out of space. Velmi Velmi Wanderer's Journal. You've a knack for finding these. Corpses must be frequent on your journey. No doubt your nails created many more. Velmi Artred. Morrison Gian. This journal is of traditional stone type. Text endures well upon it. In its declining age, this city switched from stone to parchment woven of spider's silk. It's a small tragedy, but the moisture in these towers has rendered most of the texts illegible. Velmi Amazing. Artred. Talking about the weavers. Have you heard that saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your nail has dulled with wear, just swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flair. It's a good one, isn't it? And accurate. They sure have a heft to them. Velmi Artred. What's that? Wanderer's Journal? So many of these. Once I get around to deciphering them all, I'll be the preeminent scholar on Hollow Nest's dead. Morrison Gian. It's quite incredible how many of these you've collected. You must have traveled the breadth of the kingdom to accrue such a hole. Velmi Artred. Oh, Paul. It's quite incredible how many of these Velmi you've Artred. collected. Oh, Paul. Velmi All right, we've hit the max limit there, I think, for uh, how much that oh, he's Paul. impressed. Velmi it's really Artred. quite incredible. I just kept telling you how incredible it is. Morrison Gian. Velmi Artred. All right. son Gear. Velmi Artred. Damn. Whoa, we're not going to get 15k, but we will be close to 15k. son Velmi Artred. Oh, Paul. Thank you. Hmm, looks like you don't have any relics on you. If you manage to find any good condition, give them to me. God damn, I gave you so many. Uh... I don't know, should we take a brief little uh, trip to the to the Colosseum to get enough Geo? And then I can empty my pockets of it. 
I reckon if we just do what the game is going to do for us anyway, in terms of going into this tent, we'll probably, you know, eventually get the Geo that we need. So I shouldn't have to do that. We don't have to replay that just yet. But we've got a bunch of Geo back, so let's head back to this weird little, this weird little settlement that's popped up. Okay, I don't have enough to go and speak to Divine, what a name. So we're doing this to our charms and we're checking out what is going on in this little establishment. Hello. That's amazing. That's a bug. Like not uh, the, like the instrument. You can see the legs. Is it a bug instrument? What is going on there? When flame burns bright inside one's mind, kin heed the call cross lands and time. That's just going on in your head? Okay. Babala. Geno. Broom. Mmm. You called us? Okay, so we summoned them here with the flame. That's really cool. Speak to master. And the bug corpse that we saw there was wearing a similar getup to these guys, it looks like. Hello? Drum roll, please! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage! Wow. Hello. That is not the voice that I expected from you. So, it was you who called us. Troop Master Grim. Well, there you go. That's the Grim Troop. The Troop Master. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom fallowed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. Korema. Oh, the, the creepy, like, whispering, the Korema. As the lantern flared, your role was cast, our compact written in scarlet fire. I think I said crimson. Scarlet does make more sense, doesn't it? Scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first, some illumination is required. We're going to get into the light and fire puns. Let's go. Grim child. Oh, hello. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed, the flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. And poof, gone in a fancy cloud of scarlet smoke. Oh, we've got a charm all the way at the end here. Okay. Grim child, worn by those who take part in the grim troops ritual. The bearer must seek the grim kin and collect their flames. Uncollected flames will appear on the bearer's map. Hello. Where? Maybe I, ah, uh, I should rest at a map. Uh, rest at a map, rest at a bench, and then it will update. Okay, we are doing a quest for the Grim, the Master of Troops. Gotcha. How exciting. This is really bizarre. Alrighty then, let's sit down on this bench, update this map. Map updated, no? Ah, oh, equip the charm. Equip the charm. Uh, how much does it cost? Two? 
two. Equip the charm first. That would make the most sense. Bop. Um, and then... Oh. Cool. How you, how you liking that trailer stinky poopy smell? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now it's on the map. So, City of Tears spot, Green Path, and Crystal Peak right in the middle there. Cool. Um, you know, I just I just realized that I said that we were going to be getting to this here. And I think because the Grim Troop is going to be its whole thing. Should we try? Let's try and take a brief moment just to step away from it for a second and go here. Um, to take on the, the dream version of the False Knight. Because we have a bunch... Uh, we have many more abilities now uh, that I would like to try out. Um, we are much better off than we used to be. Um, I am going to put quick focus on for healing, I think. Because um, it's a pretty crazy fight. I guess I'll put on Grub Song, so if I get hit, I'll uh, get some soul. Quick Slash. And then... Spells. Part of me is greedy and just wants more charm notches. Maybe instead of quick focus, maybe a further reach with my... Ugh, I don't know. Let's just, let's see how this goes. Um, we'll get rid of our, that Grim Child for now. Um, let's head down into the Forgotten Crossroads and go take on this dream fight. Because this is my lingering dream boss fight that we haven't finished yet. The very first boss that we faced in, in Hollow Knight as a creepy dream version. Now, I think the best way to get there, I'm trying to remember because it's blocked off. Uh, we do not have our compass on, but that's okay. We pretty much know where we are. And I say pretty much because it's a possibility that I might forget where I am. We will see. Let's go do the Mexican wave. Ready? <sighs> <laughs> he ate them all. <sighs> he ate them all. I wanted to come in here and get a wave of celebration on my way through here for a morale boost on my way to the dream fight. <laughs> Happy, happy, happy. Uh. <laughs> he ate them all. Are they happy in there or are you happy? And only you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. Okay. Well, that happened. Ah, I forgot to explode. Not sure how I feel about that. Alright, I think I need to go... What happens when you don't have the compass on? I'm pretty sure I'm above this right now. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, need to go down into the corner for where corner for used to be down here. There you go. Um, I am shocked and disgusted by the actions of Father Grub. Father Grub has eaten the children. How dare he! Let's just be grateful that there is a bench here for us to rest upon. Actually, no. It doesn't matter, does it? Because we're in a dream. We are in a dream when we fight that guy, so it doesn't matter. Um, damn, I've given fragile strength to... Um, and it is blocked off. I've given fragile strength to 
divine and if we would have equipped it i don't think the charm would break because we'd be in a dream how annoying is that all right we have to go around the long way for god's sake <laughs> Oh, the friends are gone because this place is so infected. They're not even here to just chill out anymore. They had to leave. All right. Which means it's just you and me, buddy. No more. Ah. Ah. Um. All right. How do we get here? Let's 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 figure this out. Let's do the path normally so that I can figure out how to totally. I think I can just zoom across to the side. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I can just go up the top, I remember. Yeah, you can just, um... Yeah, you can just go up the top. Oh god. Oh, well, this, we're off to a good start. I've been smacked immediately. Okay. Fucking... Okay. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm supposed to first try this. This was supposed to be a first try. Hold on. Hold on. Stop that. Do you mind? Never mind. That was supposed to be a first try with all that I've learned and gained in my repertoire. Okay, never mind. Now I've just lost all my built up soul. Thank you, game. Very cool. Alright, don't do that. Hi. -ya! Yeah, we can just enter from this way. Okay, so. Well, whether I like it or not, we've stepped into a war with the False Knight in Hallow Nest. So let's go. The failed champion, this one. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yep. Yeah. We get it, mate. You hit hard. We get it. Oh, nice. Well, I don't have healing, so I'm hitting you. All right, yep, the big smacks, the big smacks. It's a thing. What? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I'm dead. Okay, well, we managed to hit it to... We managed to get his head out. <sighs> okay. Hi. Let us try this again. Okay, don't do that. That's bad. Oh, wait, you can hit these fucking... You can hit these things. Oh, you can hit the... Okay, hold on. That's good. Good to know. You can hit the fucking meteorites into him. That's cool. Oh, God. Oh, nice. That was the plan. Also, I guess what's cool is you can use him, um, you can use him as well, because he will jump into the thingies and destroy them for you. Okay, that's fucking rude. Oh, that was, that was close, okay. Uh, this is dangerous as hell. Okay, whoa, that was, whoa, buddy. What? Dude, the lack of... The lack of any... The lack of any soul there really bugs me. Okay, because we're not, we're, we're not able to hit for soul. Alright, I need to take this off. And every time we get hit, is just dangerous. You need to do this without just getting hit in general. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back to a bench. Um, I think I should be able to get to the bench that's like over onto the left here with the cocoons. 
let's adjust our thing here because we're not going to have much opportunity for healing at all, I don't think. I'm pretty sure this is blocked off, isn't it? Yep, fuck you. I hate this infection crap. We just have to, we have to go the long way around everything. All right, go to the stagway. Stagway bench it is, and then change my charms over. Should we just uh, stay at full health and just never get hit, and we'll just do nothing but grab a fly's energy? <laughs> um, we don't get any soul from attacking the boss, which is really exciting. We can put on Unbreakable Heart, uh, which is in increases our health. I'm probably going to put that on to increase my survivability. I'm going to put on Defender's Crest so we can at least potentially have some passive damage going on there, and then... Should we put on Shape of Un so, so we can avoid... I don't think that's going to be fast enough. We could free up another uh, notch and have Dream Shield. I could block some uh, attacks, maybe, once in a blue moon. Maybe. What's Weaver Song again? Weaver Song summons little babies. I'll have the little babies attack. They give him some protection. I don't know how it works, though. Do they have an infinite lifespan? So if we put on an unbreakable heart, and then li lifeblood's only two. Take that off. Um, maybe long nail so I can extend my distance. How much more did that does that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It gives us two more. It gives us a whole extra hit by the boss, actually, which is not too bad. Um, we could put on Hive Blood and then just, if we get hit, just, <laughs> just don't get hit until it comes back for a whole 10 seconds. Um, survivability, baby. When taking damage, sprout thorny vines out. God, um, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to put on Sharp Shadow as well, so we can damage enemies um, while we're doing that dash through him. I'm going to try this and see what happens. It might not be the best combination ever in the world, but like, it'll, you know, it'll, it'll do something. It'll get something done. It's better than what I had on before, I think, considering the, um, the lack of stuff that I have. Um, a problem, unfortunately, is the soul that you lose in a dream is a, is the soul that you lose in uh, in real life. So we can stock up soul. What's a little bit frustrating is due to the um, due to the the little grubs that were mourning the loss of their friend disappearing. We can no longer smack them for. Um, Oh god. Oh shit. We can no longer smack them. For for soul. Uh, which one of those was that? Let me just hit one of those two. Let's take a look. It was somewhere in here. Oh, it's one of these two. The bugs of Hellenist were twisted out of shape by that ancient sickness. First they fell into deep slumber, then they awoke with broken minds, and their bodies started to deform. The infection that swept through Halloness so long ago, they say the harder you struggled against it, the more it consumed you. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yeah, it's a shame those grubs be missing. It'd be nice if hitting these gave you soul. Is there any... I guess that's a downside to doing this fight when you've had the infection spread for as long as it has, is this, uh, the grub friends are gone, so this is it. Ah. Be nice if hitting the dream, uh, hitting the dream now on the actual bosses themselves, um, gave you enough soul. All right. Let's see how we go. Okay. 
Not good. I'm already off to a bad start by being an idiot. Ah, man, that jump. Alright, we do get our brief bit of soul. I can't believe I just did that. We do get our brief bit of soul from uh, from that, but that is not, you know, that's not what we want. Whoa! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I needed that to heal. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I actually, I don't know, what do we even owe it to in that one? <laughs> oh, I'd like to thank the Sharp Shadow and Defender's Crest, I think. I think those did a pretty good job. We got some good hits in there too. And we played a little bit silly, but a little bit serious. And we got it done. All right. Nice. Hello. I wanted it. The strength to protect the others. When I saw that knight sleeping... Safe in his big armored shell. It wasn't madness that drove me to it. I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? There is more to a man than strength, dear maggot boy. You need a strong will, not a strong body. I, yeah, I win. I won. Nice. Remember how confusing that was when I first found it? And I was just like, what is going on? And now we've killed that knight twice. <laughs> Goddamn. Pretty good. Okay, that's done. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I that was a lingering dream fight that we had yet to complete. And now we are going to go back on track and do um, the Grim Troop. <laughs> The easy way for us to do that is to do the Stagway, which is what we should have done the first time, instead of going down from Dirtmouth and going, oh, it's fine. This is the way that we should have gone. Now, um, we're going to put on Grimchild so we can have whatever that wants us to do. And then I'm going to put on Shaman Stone and take off the Long Nail. I'm going to put on Spell Twister. So I'm going to do some magical stuff. Grimchild, hello. Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go to Crystal Peak first. Let's do Crystal Peak. Sounds fine to me. I would love if they added a Stagway to Crystal Peak. They always make it weird to get to. <sighs> Nom, 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 nom. Okay. I have a little floating thing. Lovely. That guy's really just going to be there forever, isn't he? Spouting his nonsensical ideals that are actually pretty good to listen to, for the most part. But yeah. Alright, so in this place, oh yeah, I don't have my compass on, but that's that's fine. Who needs a compass? Um, Alright, let's see. It's about halfway through. I don't know what we're looking for visually, but I guess we we will see it. The Grim Child would pro oh, there we go. Uh, well, I know what I'm looking for now. Okay. I hit it through the thing. Okay, why are you doing that on my... What the hell? <laughs> this 
this music? I love this little dude. Okay. I jumped right into that when I didn't even need to move. I'm very clever. The fact that I can go through the environment. I need to get it to sit at a spot where I can get a good hit on it. Cool. Flame consumed. Look, he's very happy. My grim child is very happy. Flame consumed. Uh, where's the next one? Ah, oh, the city of tears, eh? Um. God, there's not even a good. Long way to go back there. It just wants me to go back to that station. Alright, uh, let's head back. Oh, just head back to where we came from in Dirtmouth. And we collect three flames. Bless my grim child behind. <laughs> okay, to the city of tears we go. Uh, city storerooms, I think. City storerooms is the one. Go just to the left. I'm not doing as much spell casting as I was thinking. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's just the same type of creature every time? Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So it's just gonna be the same type of little little guy. A little mischievous dude every time. That automatic dodge that it does when it's first summoned, so you have to like wait and then do that, and then you'll be able to okay. Otherwise if you jump it like automatically does goes away from you, okay. Consumed. Uh, where's the next one? It was in Green Path, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can head to the Stagway in Green Path. Make our way over there. Who does? Who, who? Who did that? Who did that? That's, it. That's bad. That's amazing. Nice. I'm glad that they are all pretty easily accessible. Easy to get to. To green path. <gasps> right, now from here, we just go all the way down and then all the way across. All the way down, all the way across. <laughs> what an iconic location still to this day. And what I love about Green Path, it was an area that just it just fascinated me so much. 
and the music is so good. I love this place. It's such a memorable one for me. And it's so funny just to see how crazy it was and like <laughs> overwhelming. You're like, oh my god, this, this place is just ridiculous. You know? I'm struggling so much with it, with all of the thorns and everything, and now it's just like just every other Tuesday. Alright, I think we're in the right room. Yes, we are. the most efficient one yet. I was expecting the eyes of the Grim Child to like light up red as when we got more flames. All right, we've got three. Oh, yes, I should check these, shouldn't I? Grimkin Novice. Young and playful member of the Grim Troop. As part of the ritual, it gathers scarlet flame within its torch. It will relinquish the flame once defeated. Shadows dream of endless fire, flames devour and embers swoop. One will light the nightmare lantern, call and serve in Grim's dead troop. Dread troop. And if, naturally, we are encountering new things, and the encountered number keeps bumping it up by one in the bottom there. <laughs> God, may as well not even have it. We're still at 102% completion. Silly little game. I wonder if it's like... It must be DLC, but there's part of me initially that was thinking it was like the game has like some optional things that would tick it over like plus 100%. So, like, you, you didn't have to do some optional things to get to 100%. I assume that's probably the case, because we've done a lot of things in this game and not had the percentage increase <laughs> as a result. So, I guess that is the way. It's like, hey, nice job on the Path of Pain. Any percentage? No, because they probably don't want to force people to do it. <laughs> They're like, we won't force you to do it. Take me back to Dirtmouth, baby. I got myself some stuff. I heard a piercing cry from the well. It echoed about my mind and left me all the days. Oh, that might have been the, the Hollow Knight. I'd say it was a foul beast death, but this cry sounded different. Divine. Has something happened, little traveler? Ah, oh, referring to the Radiance, I think. No, don't tell me. If foul events are brewing, it's probably better. I don't know. Oh, Kala. Yeah. Cool. Elderbug, our first friend. I return. Mm, very good. The child burns with flame. Master is waiting for you. Master! Hello! So cool. I can feel it. The warmth of the flame you've gathered together. A masterful opening act. The air hums with excitement. Dear child, you've done so well. Let your fire burn even brighter. Ooh, upgraded. It's got wings now? Beautiful, yes, the child has grown from idle youth to deadly companion. About these dangerous lands, its aid will no doubt be welcome. So it looks very, very similar to, obviously, the Troop Master Grim, because it's the Grim Kin, or Grim Child thing. That's very cool. Is it eventually going to grow to look like you? Just don't neglect our dance, for it too continues. Keep hunting that scattered scarlet essence. Oh, okay, so I have to go get more. When the child is filled with flame once more, return to the stage and the performance will begin. Oof. There are more. Okay, so there's one in King's Pass. Um, Kingdom's Edge. And Resting Grounds. Okay, another three to obtain. Um, and they should be all relatively accessible. 
Yes, nice. Okay. Interesting. Let's go to the one at uh, that's closest to us. I'm assuming it's going to be the same deal, or have, are they going to upgrade to more challenging ones for this fight? Let's let's go see. And then we are, over time, eventually going to get 15,000 Geo, and then we can get the unbreakable strength. Um, which way do we go from here? Right here. Oh. Oh. Is it attacking? Hang on. <laughs> Look at its cute mouth. It spits flame. Cool. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Oh, it's bigger. We got a bigger one. They've upgraded the difficulty. And it's helping me. That's, that's so cool. Oh, what are you doing? The cheeky laughter, though. <laughs> I win. Okay. Flame consumed. Um, let's get out of here. It came from above, did we not? Yeah. Get me out of here. Um, where are we going next? I guess we'll take the stagway to the resting grounds. Right, uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 Ouch. How dare you hit me? Oh, uh, I love dodging the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit a, I just hit a hidden wall. Did you hear that? <laughs> it made the, I just hit a hidden wall over the right, over the left hand side. What the fuck? All right, commit that to memory. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, over the left hand side. It made the noise. What the hell? <laughs> that is so stupid. All right, hang on. What are we find over here? Oh, was it just that? Hang on. I don't know where I am on the on the map. Also, it's showing the wrong thing. It should be showing. I oh, don't know. It is showing the right one. What the hell is it? Is it this? I guess it was that. Just that soul thing. Because we came from oh here. No. Oh, it must have just been this, right? Oh. Uh, false alarm, guys. Not as exciting. I was like, oh my god! Okay. Shoot. What's this again? This is where this is where we last saw um Oh the blade has been left. This is where we last saw Quirrell. How interesting. That's such a, a funny thing. You're just like, I've just revealed a hidden wall. It turns out it was just kind of garbage though. Alright. Uh last one. Where was that again? Yeah, Kingdom's Edge. Okay, let's head back to Resting Grounds, Stagway, and go to King's Station. I just realized that this Grim Child is like the perfect little charm to just sit with you when you just don't want uh, to do damage to anyone from it. And you can just sit at a distance and let it spit out instead. <laughs> so funny. The Grim Child. 
Grimkin Master, a powerful and devoted member of the Grim Troop, as part of the ritual it gathers Scarlet Flame within its torch. It will relinquish the flame once defeated. Spark of red lights, darkest dreams, scarlet nightmares, bright and wild. Visions dance and flames do speak. Burn the father, feed the child, the Grim Troop. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No, oh, I mean at least it will always spawn right where I need it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, God. I, you know what? It's probably easiest to fight it down the bottom here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being stupid about this right now, though. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All of the flames obtained. Okay. Let's get out of here. That was easy, wasn't it? head back to the stagway, go back, and then apparently the, the dance can begin. Unless I'm almost expecting to get sent on another journey. Be like, go get some more. But we've got, what, six flames in total, and the child has grown up. Back to Dirtmouth. Intrigued as to what is going to happen here. A cast of interesting performers have rocked up. It's the movie Bugs Life. Baba Gunda. Hmm, very good. The child burns with flame. Master is waiting for you. Hello? Wonderful, wonderful. My kin arrive and the time has come. This searing fire, it carries well the ritual's promise. Whoa. Ooh. I just heard a gate close. I am now trapped in here. Okay, dance with me, my friend. The crowd awaits. Show them you are worthy of a starring role. Okay, hello. Troop Master Grim. Oh, bowing. Okay, I'll give you a quick bow. Whoa, whoa. Okay. That's cool. The, the flames out of the jacket. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, those are some moves. Those are some moves. Those are some moves, gotcha. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. Whoa, okay. You have some moves. I get, I get you. I get you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, did I rest at the correct bench? Of course I did. Of course I rested at the correct bench. Okay. So the Grim Chat, which means I'm fighting at a disadvantage here. Okay. Because uh, the Grimchild charm gets taken off, because I lose that. Um, all right, the quick slash, good. I like that. Um, I'm gonna need um, 
yeah, I'm gonna keep Shaman Stone, and I'm gonna keep Spell Twister. Oh, that's really unfortunate. We have to lose something though. Um, all right, never mind. Uh, we'll keep what we got. Forgot how Stagways work for a second there. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Oh, cool, so it skips the whole thing. Gotcha. <laughs> and goes right into it. Oh, if you attack... Oh, shit! If I attack without allowing the bow to happen, it, you get big mad. Oh, God. You get big mad. Okay. Oh. I would like to hit you, please. <laughs> Fucking, I would like to get a hit on you, please. Okay, quick movements. Right there, baby. Uh, quick movements. This is fun. All right. Um, don't, let's let the, <laughs> let's let the bow happen because we were very rude there and just went for the killing blow straight away. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even mean to. I actually did not mean to there. That's kind of ridiculous. I, I meant to, tr I was trying to hold down. I forget that to hold down the charm thing. Um, holding down the charm thing still attacks. Oops. Holy shit, man. Do you mind? Oh, okay. If you are quick. Well, this is fucked. All right, pufferfish mode. All right, don't attack it. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Fucking pufferfish mode? Let's not do that. Let's actually figure out what is going on here. Right, as long as you're quick with that and also maybe avoid the fucking piece of shit. Nice, that's a good few hits there. Cool. Realistically, what are you supposed to do here? Because what what is this? This is horse crap. What is that? Okay. Do you mind? Whoa. Okay. Cool. What a performance. What a show. Fucking sh shit, dude. Mm, that just okay. That just annoys me. That that attack just annoys me. It's not even like acceptable. I don't accept it. That just is annoying. Everything else is fine. That stupid pufferfish mode. I'm I'm against it. There you go. Take my take my charm away from me. Yep. 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 Sure. Whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. 
Are you still going with that stupid attack? What the fuck? I thought I would get close enough that that would avoid damage, but sure. Frowny face. Mr. Frowny face alert. All right, I understand the pufferfish a move now. It's actually easy. Puffer fish move is easy. I get it. It's just the confusion getting to me. It's not even a hard boss. Actually, actually so easy. There's just zero difficulty here. See, look, look at that. in the right spot there. Stood right underneath that. Stood right underneath that attack. Okay, we did we did well there. We did well. We did well. I understand this fight. I understand. I get it. <sighs> Piece of shit. Piece of shit, Grim Troop. I know what I'm doing here. You think you can defeat me? I'm gonna defeat this person first try. We haven't even, everything else was a practice run. That's really great when you can accidentally like avoid all damage somehow on that one. I don't know how that one works, but I'm gonna just accept it. Ah, 
Ah, oh, don't go right into it. How do I not have my shadow dash there? What? I meant to dash. Hit it when it's in that mode. Okay, you can hit that fucking thing when it's flying around. How many goddamn phases does it do? Are we even doing damage to it? Are we supposed to only. Are we only able to damage it? when it's in that mode or what? Because I just realized we can hit it out, like, is that what we have to do? That's just bonus damage or not. God, oh my god! You can be totally fine and then you'll just get hit by like six attacks in a row and you're just like, okay, well this is over, this is done. <laughs> just too much of being like put on the ropes there. You can you can think that you've mastered the dance. I don't think I've mastered the dance, but you can think that you've gotten pretty good at the dance. Alas. You have no chance at the dance in its current state. Asshole. Oh my dude, come on. Oh, you're gonna really get me to take damage that way? Okay. Asshole. I really need the uh, increased, um, I think I, I, well, I don't need it, but I, I want the increased, um, in, uh, increased invincibility frames after taking damage.
God, are they faster now? Jesus, I, for some reason I just thought they would be not as fast as it was. What the? F okay, I quit. Just kill me. It's over. I, I give up. I, I, I give up. You've, you've won. You've won. I get it. Give up. You fucker. You absolute piece of crap. I've already given up. End it. Just end it already. I jumped too early. Just end it. Thank you. I'm gonna trick out that fucking thing. Whatever the hell it is. It's actually an easy boss, guys. I don't know why you guys are struggling so much. It's easy. Alright, should I... Hmm. I'm not even using the goddamn spells. That's the, like, the big problem is I'm trying to get enough soul so I can get good at, like, hitting him with the Shrieking Abyss when he's in the air or slam. That's why I have those charms, but they're not even serving me. That's the, the, the problem I have is they are literally just not serving me whatsoever. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to do without. Because um, I... Ideally, I want to be able to. But it's just not working out for me. So we're going to ignore that one completely. And instead... Um, when we take damage, we're going to get some soul back. We're going to be invulnerable for longer. We're going to have quick slash. And... Um, Defender's Crest, while we're hanging out near it, doing some passive damage to it would not be too bad either, to be honest with you. What have I got that I can just chuck on that costs one? That would actually be good. I chuck on Spore Shroom as well. <laughs> um, maybe I just put on Long now so I can cover some distance, be invulnerable for a little bit longer. Look, it'll be better than having ones that are for spells when I'm just not even goddamn spelling. Ideally, we would be doing some some spells, but I have not enough soul. I am constantly being put on the ropes, so we're not going to do that. during this is incredible. This is, the, this is my favorite part of the music when this scene happens. God damn it. I missed my opportunity to heal properly and do damage to whatever the fuck it, it's, that form is. Oh man, gets lucky and avoids damage only to take damage. Love it favorite. Uh, again. Uh, and again. And again. Oh, and I walked right into you. I think, isn't it, like, ironic that, like, the easiest attack to actually dodge and handle in this fucking thing is the one that I was, like, complaining about the most, saying it was bullshit? That's the easiest attack in the whole fucking repertoire. He's really spam- he's really relying on that one attack, isn't he? God, you love that one. Oh, 
I didn't jump high enough in that one because I'm stupid. I feel like we did any damage. I don't feel like we even did anything. Damn. I didn't feel like we did anything. Encore? Encore. I don't know about you guys, I don't feel like we did anything. Masterful, even a vessel discarded bears fierce strength. Fine craft, dear worm, and perfect tool to prolong the heart of Grim. Oh wow. I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely feel like we barely even attacked him in that one. I don't know, that like flew by for me. That was that was a very quick dance. Oh, Bravo, my friend. Hear how the crowd adores you. They've not seen such a show in a long time. Sure. Look here how our child has grown, nourished and strengthened by the heat of our passionate dance. The two of you will feature in many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. And so our great ritual nears its end. Will you continue to harvest the flame, even though now you surely see the path that illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes will watch you keenly, friend. Bornell. Go out into the darkness, harvest the last lingering embers of this kingdom, then return to me and we will complete our dance. Ooh. I got something. I got another charm notch. Nice. Whoa, Grimchild is looking mighty scary in that charm now. Look at that. We've got three more to obtain once again. Grim, master of the Grim Troop. Through Dream, I travel at Lantern's Call to consume the flames of a kingdom's fall. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, where are we at? Okay, we got one in uh, fungal wastes we got one in the distant village all the way down that way cool and one at the beginning of the abyss cool uh let's check those out we've got we've got more to have a look at it's not over yet a final dance oh whoever was here playing the bug accordion is gone Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I now have another charm notch, which is great. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna what's gonna happen in the you know, but we'll see. Let's go get the other three and then check this out. All right, let's see it. Oh, it's a it's a much Oh, you're summoning Pillars of Flame. Okay, okay. Okay. They're now much, much less of a joke. Okay. Okay. Oh, yep. You even summoned Pillars of Flame upon yourself. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I see what's going on here. And it also hits for two damage. This is not good. Okay, this is just stressful now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh. I no longer wish to participate. Holy crap. Oh, oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I've accepted my fate. Okay, holy crap. Wow. Um holy crap. Alright, we died to one. There you go. Okay, and I didn't expect to die, and that is why we're here. 
Damn. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> why put on Gathering Swarm instead of the compass? Oh my god! Gathering Swarm instead of the compass. I'd like to know where I am. Thank you very much. Uh, let's try again. Got oh, those flames though. God, getting hit for two is so fun. I love getting hit for two. Yeah. Alright, so the only one to really worry about is really getting hit by the flames and then as a result um, getting knocked off the platforms. Oh, I can just go over here. Nice. Now I don't have to worry about getting knocked off the platforms. I'll just lure him over here. Perfect. I was going to use the Abyss Shriek, but then my reaction time is too slow. Um, so we should just be able to finish him. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, nice. There you go. Perfect. Wonderful. Flame consumed. Let's have a look at what this one is. The Grimkin Nightmare. Terrifying member of the Grim Troop. As part of the ritual, it gathers scarlet flame within its torch. It will relinquish the flame once defeated. Dance and die and live forever. Silent voices shout and sing. Stand before the troop's dark heart. Burn away the Nightmare King. The Grim Troop. The Nightmare King. That's a pretty big name to give something. The Nightmare King. All right, uh, next spot to go to. Oh, it's in the hive. Cool. You know what that means? We are putting hive blood on. So to do that, to do that, we can go to, I'm just trying to think the best way to go to get into the hive. Um, I'll probably just go back to, as long as we put hive blood on, we'll be fine. All right, let's go up. Navigate our way up, head to the King Station bench, get into the hive. I thought that there was a platform there that really confused me. Not a platform, a wall. That really confused me. Um, yep. Do this, do this, do this, and then make friends with the bees by rocking with their Brava! their charm. <laughs> Yeah. I think this is really cool. It's like a it's a fun little additional adventure. I like the concept of a little group, a group troop uh, coming and hanging out in Hallow Nest due to us summoning them, and then uh, they've got a whole little thing going on, which is very cool. character of Grim is really neat. I like that a lot too. Um, let us rest. Then we wish to put on Hive Blood. So we'll take off Poopies. Uh, we'll take that off. Uh, we'll take that off. We'll put that on. And then we'll put on Long Nail because I've got to reach this goddamn thing. Lovely. Uh, so we're at King Station. So if we go from here... should be able to go around into that hive entrance. Perfect. There is one slight problem that I've discovered on my way here, and that is my silly little child does not know how to make friends with bees and will attack them, therefore turning them into enemies, uh, which is a problem. And I've just attacked that one myself, because why not? Uh, it was like literally by instinct at that point. I just like for some reason I was like, yep. Okay. Um, because I'm pretty sure it is in this room. 
judging by the map here. So I've got to unfortunately clear them out. Yep. Um, oh, actually, it's this room, which is actually empty of bees. Nice. Oh, look at them, like... I never noticed that before. Them uh, coming up in, in the foreground. That's really nice. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I guess that's really cool that um, we have the sort of um, the, the advantage of this DLC, oh Jesus, is um, at the very least you're able to actually um, discover things that you might have missed. <laughs> like, because it'll mark this thing on your map and then you'll be, like, looking for this place. You're like, oh, what is going on? Oh, that's rude. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha in a cheeky little spot. Yeah, that's a really cool thing to think about. Is, uh, if you hadn't discovered spots like this, or there was things left, um, unexplored on the map and you were doing this DLC, it's like, I got you covered. Alright, Hive Blood, we didn't even really need it because I was expecting a room that was going to be filled with them. Um, and that did not matter, but that's okay. Uh, we're now going to go to Fungal Waste. So if we go to Queen Station, that seems like that's going to be the fastest way to make our way through. Let's do that. I just realized that there's three flames to collect on this the charm screen and how it talks about it but then uh the map we've already taken out two it's there's one here but then there's another one in the distant village so there's actually four so i'm not sure what that means if we collect uh, an extra or additional one but we are going to we'll do that so let's head to the distant village uh first because that one's got a stagway right next to it and then we'll go to the one near the mantis village Voila. and we'll see what happens uh we have not been this way in a really long time uh, to the point where I think, yes, Distant Village, there you go. This is probably the least used stagway. Okay. Uh, so it's just all the way over to the end. Ooh. I wonder if there's anything going on in here. It'd be cool if it was in this room. These guys are still just chilling. Just chilling. Just empty helmets. <laughs> okay. I have fallen all the way to the bottom. Um. Okay. Well, the the flame is a bit higher up. That's my. Okay. Oops, that's my concern. I forgot to I forgot to sit on that bench, didn't I? I definitely forgot to sit on that bench. That's right. I wanted to go on this adventure back through uh, Deep Nest. Deep Nest? What's it called? Deep Nest. I love Deep Nest so much that I was like, let's. Uh, oh god. Yep. Oh god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Just brute force those uh, devouts because we love them so much that we just don't want anything to do with them. Okay, we're back to raining blood area. I love Deep Nest, it's such a nice place to hang out. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Where are you at, thingy? Where is it? Um. Hmm. Is it a is it a glitch? It's not. Yeah. Do you have to maybe get the other three in order to get this one? Oh, you bastard. Okay, saved. Oh, you're in here. Hello. Ah, yes, we are merely vessels for the flame, but were we always empty? OK, 
Okay, you were tucked away in here. Babala, Geno. Oh, it's Broom. The Broom disappeared because Broom's the one that was playing the instrument. Right. Mmm, you came. The red flame I've gathered from this dead kingdom, you would claim it for our master for his final act. The ritual plays itself out once more. You're know, like the notes in an old, old song. You and me. Hmm. Endless repeating songs of sacrifice, of servitude for the ritual, for the troop, for the master. He's looking over at my little grim child. I have a feeling that Broom is tired of doing this. Even this child was born into invisible chains. Hmm. So we serve, thus it has ever been, yes? Take the flame then, it is why you came here. Oh, wow. Okay. It is done, and yet it is not merely by fortune that we meet here in the darkest, furthest reaches of the world where my master's scarlet eyes cannot see us. Mm, a song that never ends is no song at all. You take part in the ritual, yet I sense you truly have no master. Is it so? Perhaps together we can banish that livid flame and let this dead kingdom rest in peace. If you wish to silence the endless song, meet me where it began. But if you return to the master and complete the ritual, as long as you do it without regret, I will bear you no hatred. Wow. Uh, we have a choice. We can complete it. Oh, it makes sense as to why there is like more. Oh, and it and that flame is gone. I'm so glad that we came to this one. I feel like the game intentionally d did that because it made this the easiest accessible one because it's right next to a stag nest. So that's very clever. Um, interesting, because uh, I was assuming that maybe we, we could connect, uh, collect a bonus fourth flame and something would happen. But it's an NPC who is not liking the slavery aspect of this flame. And it's like, you know, this, this one has been born with invisible chains. I really like that. So, it wishes to meet where the song began, uh, which I assume is where we started everything, because we did, like, the call. We called and summoned them here. Um, I would assume that is the case. So, let's go here. We have a choice. We can either end this or, or fulfill the master's ritual uh, and re keep the cycle Repeating. I'm all about breaking those chains, baby. Interesting. If you wish to silence this endless song, meet me where it began. All right, let's go to where we started this whole thing. What does that mean, though? What? What is that going to entail? I'm really... I'm really stressed and annoyed because it's just like there's part of me that's like, God damn it, there's multiple choices and I want to know what happens in each choice. But I can't, I cannot find out what happens in each choice because there is one, but one save file. <sighs> if you could copy a save file on Xbox, that would be pretty sweet for, for moments like this. Alright, to the Howling Cliffs we go, um, I don't know what to do, but we'll, as long as we just don't go in here and talk to the master. Yeah, I like, I like this much better. I like whatever the hell's going on here. I did note that he, that he left after the fight, so he left and put his little flame beacon out there to like, see if we'll have a little secret chat. I like that a lot. I'm glad we did that before it was too late instead of going to the um, Mantis Village. Oh, the Fungal Wastes one, sorry. It definitely feels intentional. Like they've, um, like I said, they, they put him in the easiest to reach place. <laughs> that was close. Almost uh, allowed myself to get impaled there. This is not where I am wanting to go. This is the way that I'm wanting to go. Love doing 
doing this without a compass. It's because I've memorized this route a hundred percent. And I never make any mistakes and I am like a homing pigeon. I know exactly where I am, where I will be at all times. Okay, so if we go... We're currently up here, we'll go through and down back to this place. It's like classic tale of NPC is cryptic. It's like, he literally is just like pointing out that we're not being like seen or listened to here. It's like, we're safe. But then it's like, if you wish to do this, you must be this. And I will be mysterious about it. I'm going to rest at the bench. I'm going to rest at Nailmaster's bench. Just uh, 997 Geo to go until we can... God damn it, I can spike. I always freak out when I see these still. Not knowing, like, that I can just... I can just fucking do this. And I go... <gasps> I don't know, my brain still doesn't work in those critical moments where I'm... I, my brain just goes, I'm falling. I'm gonna die. It is what it is. It do be... What it do be. Alright, I'm looking for a hole in the wall. Similar to one that I found before. Uh, which one was it? This one? Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, that's what I was talking about, baby. Bop. Master, are you even a slave? If so, let our chains be broken together. A slave to the call of the fire. Baba so you followed me here to where the ritual began. You would join me in breaking it then. It is painful to defy the master, but our harvest, it profanes this dark, quiet kingdom. This once, I would see the ritual fail. It is painful to defy the master. Mm, now, let us destroy the anchor and banish the master. Never shall he return here again. Oh, I'm helping. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm helping. I'm like watching this happen. I'm just like... Oh, I'm meant to be doing something. Right, we have to do it together. <laughs> Damn. Um, yep. Okay, the body that was here is gone. This is gone. Uh, okay. Surely there's something else. Uh, let's go back to... Dirtmouth and see what has changed. It is assumedly I don't know, do they just do they just pack up their house and, and get out of here or I would not expect it to be that simple. I would not expect it to be so easy. Apparently it's going to be painful. Ah! Oh, there's an item. Oh, right. Oh, I got my fragile strength back. Oh, no shit. They're gone. Oh, no, they're gone. That means I didn't get to... I got given fragile strength back. I was saving up money and I... Oh, natural, obviously, duh. No! I didn't get to get unbreakable strength. 
and Unbreakable Greed, which would have been very expensive. Broom stayed behind. Look, he's taking his uh, costume off. Nim instead of Broom. Ah, hello, hello. I'm new around these parts, so it's marvelous to see so friendly a face in such a sad town. The old bug over there was very welcoming, but still I find the place a little melancholy. What with the wind and the darkness and the sense of decline, I was hoping my music could go some way to livening up the place. And now you've arrived with that wonderful, charming aura about you. The old town feels brighter for it. Before you hurry about your business, I have a small gift to commemorate a wonderful new friendship. No use for it myself, but I believe it'd look rather fancy upon you. Please enjoy it, and let's hope to see much more of each other about town. A carefree melody. Oh, nice. I got a charm in place of my kin. Token commemorating the start of a friendship contains a song of protection that may defend the bearer from damage. Okay, cool. My dear friend, are you enjoying the music? It's as upbeat a tune as I know, but I must admit, even it falls a little on the sadder side. Yeah, I recognize the music he's playing. Please know, I play it with joy. Being in this town, being beside such good company as yourself, I feel remarkably, refreshingly content. My dear friend, you enjoy the music. Okay. Um. Hmm, why did I choose to travel here, and how far must I have come to forget the origin entirely? I reckon it's the same guy, right? Just like, has renamed itself and like been like, I choose, I've, I feel compelled to visit here? Hmm. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I have regrets because maybe I should have gotten a thousand more Geo so I could have at least made this unbreakable. And now I'm annoyed at myself for uh, doing it to the unbreakable heart instead of that. But uh, it is what it is. Um, there's only two more charms to obtain and we have a carefree melody instead of the Grimkin. Well, that's a blind playthrough for you. I was like, we've been given a choice, but now I'm wondering if we, what would have happened if we completed the ritual. Ah, oh, it's it's moments like this where I'm like, I wish we could, you know. Unfortunately, if I was playing on PC, I'd probably be able to do a save file fuckery, which, you know, kind of feels like it's just getting too much into like non-blind playthrough territory of me going, oh, I want to see, you know, I want to fuck around with my save file. It doesn't feel right. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I want to know what, like, the, the alternate thing was if we didn't help him. Interesting. Okay. So we've banished the, the Grim Troop from this place and... Um... We have. We now have um, Nim. And obviously, because they leave, I get my fragile strength charm back. I thought I was going to get a new item, and then it clicked for me. Okay. Can we resummon them back? <laughs> I feel slightly underwhelmed at that one. I mean, we banished them, and we did. I think we did a good moral thing. But I'm like, oh, now I kind of want to see what would have happened if we did the the ritual. Uh, but alas, nothing I can do about that now, so there's no point lingering on the past as it does not change the future. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Hollow Knight, where we had a look at the Grim Troop, which was uh, a really a lot of fun. I liked it. It was cool. I liked the dance we did with, with Grim there. Uh, it was a challenging fight. And then we ultimately decided to banish... Uh, them from this from this location instead of going with the master's ritual Not sure how I feel about it. Really. It feels slightly underwhelming, but probably like a good thing You know a good deed is not always a you know this massive feeling of oh my god amazing It's just like a, you, we did a good thing for the for these people. we freed them from the shackles of the flame, I guess and there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. Next time, uh, I will continue on the journey for the ever elusive simple key uh, for the for the junk pit. And we also have two more charms to obtain as well. Um, 
like I said in this episode, if I can find them, great. But I will probably request a little bit of a uh, trustworthy clue or hint uh, from my mod team to just push me in some directions of things that I need to keep the playthrough rolling uh, in that sense. So there's still that sense of exploration in maybe check out around this area or such and such. And then we can find what we need and continue with whatever is hiding in the junk pit. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. We are still here in this episode doing something that feels a little bit dirty. It feels a little bit dirty. Um, I am letting curiosity get the best of me, and I think that I am entitled to letting my curiosity get the best of me. Uh, I have obtained, well, first and foremost, I have now purchased Hollow Knight on PC. So I've bought it through Steam and I was going to do that anyway because I was thinking of replaying the game in the PC version and because like randomizers exist and all sorts of cool things we could probably look into doing like at some point in the future. So I, I bought the game again uh, on Steam so we could edit our save file. So I have now gone from having no progress on Hollow Knight on PC to all of it, specifically so I could sit here and share the alternate outcome with you all and experience it. Um, I It feels a little bit dirty and I recognize that, but I want to explore this outcome. Uh, I have essentially just jumped right into this save file that allows us to be at the final encounter for the Grim Troop and we have the same charm set up, we've got the same vessels and masks, everything is exactly kind of the same as how we had it, so it's like a weird consistent experience. This is us checking out the alternate Hollow Knight timeline to see uh, how this goes. I'm a little bit upset that I can't do this in my main playthrough and whatever we miss here, however, I feel good about the fact that I did a genuine choice in my like blind playthrough and I was like, this feels right. Let's do, let's free them. Let's banish them. Let's break the ritual. It felt like the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Uh, it felt like it wasn't a good idea to continue with the, with the, with the ritual. However, now we can kill ourselves with the curiosity and check out what happens. So we're running in here. We have everything, you know, that we that we had before, except now we're in the um, the PC version because I I want to provide this content and I want to provide like another viewpoint on this one and uh, like for my own curiosity. You know, I'm I'm looking at this going, man, I really wanted to know what happens, and I'm kind of bummed that there was like a like we just banished them at the at the end, like. There's part of me that because it's like a dream or a DLC thing, it would be cool if there was like, I don't know, like maybe some sort of dream replay thing. And you could like, do you want to do this again? Uh, and it could be like a dream version. I would have really liked that. But let's see what this is all about without further ado, because I'm rambling. All right. Uh, I'm, uh, we're going into a new room. We're, go we're walking in even further. Grim is sleeping, which means I'm assuming that we are dream nailing. Bop. I'm assuming we are dream nailing. There we go. Hello. So we're now in a dream version of this place. It's looking pretty grim. Oh, that red. Whoa, the beating heart of Grim. You're telling me that I missed out on this? by being morally correct and trying to be a good person? Can we listen to this music? Whoa! 
Nightmare King Grim. Oh, I just got one of my new favorite tracks. Holy crap. And it does like the super, like the flash on the screen, like the Radiance Nightmare King Grim. Are you kidding me? You make a you make a morally correct choice and the game robs you of this fight. All right, I feel entirely justified in what I've done to get here. I feel entirely justified. It hits me for two damage. Okay. Whoa, okay. I'm scared. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, do I even need my... I don't know if I need my... Uh, my my Grimkin here to be my charm because I'm not... It's not getting absorbed by the... Uh, by Grim. I could probably take it off and have something else on my charms instead. Wow. All right, let's take off this charm and then come back because, holy shit. All right, we don't need the Grimkin. Oh, uh, we, we do need the Grimkin. Never mind. All right, we need the child to get into the fight. Let's go. We're gonna be stinky. Um, so our charm arrangement um, is um, going to be this. Uh, our charm arrangement is quick slash, defender's crest, shaman stone, grim child, and spell twister. So we can try and be good with the good old, uh, we can try and be good with the, with the charms. Should be good. We'll see. This music though, can we just get a round of applause for this music that pops in on Nightmare King Grim? Oh my god. Oh, that's an attack that you do. Okay. Okay. Whoa, the flaming trail. How am I supposed to survive any of this? How am I supposed to survive this? How am I supposed to survive this? Logically, how am I supposed to survive this? What the hell? Okay. How am I supposed to survive that? I'm obviously throwing the fight on purpose, guys, so we can just keep hearing this. Oh my god, the trail of flame. Oh, yep. Yikes. All right, guys, I'm glad that I banished the troop. Never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's over. We, we banished it. Wow, guys, missed content. Whoa, no, that's, that's so bad that we missed out. Oh, no, I guess we'll have to just never do this. That's right, I've heard the music now. That's I've, I've experienced all that I need to experience. I've, ex I've heard the start of the music and now that's it. I don't need, I don't need any more. I don't need any more of this. I don't need any more. That's fine. Oh. Oh, God. It's all good, guys. I've, I've, uh, I've, you know, it's fine. 
it's, it's fine. Um, that's, uh, this is fine. Oh no. Oh God. Um, all right. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. At least the music's banging. And that's one hell of an introduction. How the fuck are you supposed to do this? <laughs> what the fuck? How the f what the fuck? What in the world? Oh god, it hits for two, man. He hits for two. How are we supposed to do this? He hits for two. I I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> what? I can't even get a, I can't even get a hit off. Whoa, man. He's a nightmare, all right. He's a nightmare, all right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what in the world am I supposed to do about that? Okay, um, I think I need to brainstorm some sort of uh, Hail Mary approach here. Um, Maybe I need to have more invulnerability uh, between taking hits because taking two, taking two hits uh, is bad. This is not good. It's a shame we can't have the uh, the child help us in the fight. Okay, first try, let's go. Damn it. Oh, I got a hit off. Guys, I hit the, I hit the, I hit it once. Oh God. How quick are you? Wow. Wow. The movement is insane and the pace of this fight is is wild. Now, we we know how my weaknesses. It's that I've got the the timing and reflexes of someone that has crawled out of a grave and the from 200 years ago and they're trying to hold a controller for the first time and they're like, "What is this? I am from the 1800s." Uh, so like, I don't know, man. I'm supposed to figure this out. I don't know if I'm, I, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm actually even capable. I genuinely don't know if I'm capable. I've hit it once, is that enough? Can I win now? I hit you once. I, I'm gonna take that as an absolute win. Okay. Careful, you might get hit. I walked into it and died. Okay. Um, okay. We're trying to rock with uh, this setup at the moment, which is fragile strength, because it doesn't break because we're in a dream. Sharp shadow, so we can do damage to Grim while we dash. Uh, this is me trying my absolute best to see if I can maybe do this while I'm waiting to get an attack off. Maybe. And dash master and sprint master, so I can always be moving and having more dashes. I need to try and be as fast as him, I guess. That's what I'm trying to do here. And then at the very least, I can hold this, run around with this while I'm dodging and doing stuff. And then when he's open, go, Hah! or something like that, you know? This is probably the worst fight for me to try and learn how to do charms properly, but we'll, you know, we'll try our best. I can like ch have it just like charged, ready to go. I'll see him in the distance. Yeah, dash slash, you know? 
we'll see. For, I think with having it with fragile strength, with increased strength, is also going to help. But we'll we'll see. But having the ability to sprint and dash, uh, you know, more often, I feel like it's going to be a good idea. Just trying to I don't know what I don't even know what I'm trying to do I don't even know what I want I don't even know what I want okay all right let's try and see if we can get some uh, nail arts off in this Okay, hang on. It's got a counter. It counters. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. That's me trying to do nail arts. Dying immediately. Um, if we get too close to Grim when he does the shooting fireballs out of his cloak, he re he teleports and shoots two more in sequence. I've, I see the pattern of those fireballs now that they come out on an alternating pattern of like, uh, there's a high one and a low one that's been consistent every single time. And he has one where they come out together at the same time. So that's also a thing. Yeah, like that, oh God. What the fuck? <laughs> I might have to try and stick to what I know. I might have to just try and stick to what I know. Can't I just kill you in your sleep? I may have to stick to what I know. Trying to put nail arts in this one at the same time, it's, oh, it's not doing so well. I might have to just try and like take my time and just pick at him slowly, slowly, slowly. Hitting for two hits is a bit much. I, I, I kind of really wish that that wasn't a thing. I feel like this fight would just be so much more enjoyable as a result because I can only get hit like four times. I understand the concept of characters, uh, enemies hitting you for two health. I do. I understand there being more damage that does more, you know, that takes away our health more. I fucking hate it though. Like I, I genuinely like getting hit for two damage by normal enemies in the field. I'm like, oh, watch out for that hazard. When it's a boss, I'm like, ah, oh, just like, mm. I don't get enough time in the fight to learn it, and it's really, really hard. And I, yeah, to the point, but I don't like it. That's my honest opinion. Is I, I'm not a fan of bosses doing two damage to you, especially when it we're also moving like faster than the flash. And I'm supposed to just be okay with that. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to just be fine with what's going on here. I can see what he's doing doing it's just i can't physically react to it i'm incapable my ultra instinct is not working it's like when when goku has already expended all of his energy being the sexy badass that he is you know 
which I heavily relate to. And then we need, uh, right at the critical moment where we need that Ultra Instinct. We don't have it, it runs out. Because what the fuck is this? as many hits as I've landed, I think. I don't know how many hits I landed, but that's as many as I've landed before. That's nice. Ah! It'd be nice if he just had some, like, fodder in this place that I could just hit for soul before the fight begins. That would also be nice, because that would help me not be at such a disadvantage. I guess I can use, I can try and use the Shade Cloak to my advantage because that'll also do fucking damage to him. But then I need to be careful not to uh, dash too close to take damage. Those fire pillars come up so quickly. Um, all right, what we're gonna do is we're going to be sensible is I am going to just cap this on the end of the episode as a look at what we've done to ourselves unfortunately we have I have willingly done this to myself and I'm capping this on the end of the episode just to be like look I have a save file that allows us to take on this boss and I will endeavor to do so it's going to be a weird alternate timeline I'm going to try and take on this boss um but not right now I can't do it now. I, I don't have the physical brain capacity, especially after the episode that I've just recorded. So this is more of a capstone to the episode where I'm like, look, this is a thing. We're gonna do this at some point. So I've missed it in my main save file because I've banished them, but it is still here and I will look into doing this at some point, okay? And that's where we're gonna leave this in, in the end of the episode, all right? So thank you so much for watching this whole episode and seeing what I've done to myself here. Um, like I said, it, it feels, it doesn't feel, it feels dirty to do so, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like I've just robbed myself of a big part of the game by them putting a choice in a DLC by how it can end. I, I just feel like if they at least had a replay option, I would be so much more fine with it because then I just replay it and we could do this and it could be like a cool little alternate dream version of the events. Alas, here we are. We've done it now. It's too late to go back. But uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, next time, we'll be continuing uh, to find this gosh darn simple key and we will see. We'll see how we go and then we will eventually give this fight another go. I, hopefully, I can do it. Hopefully, I can do it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.